This is Tank's Vlog for February 7th, 2018, wrapping up the day in sports. Josh McDaniels became coach of the Indianapolis Colts today, and then three hours later, JMD resigned as HC of the IC. I guess he really, really values the mentorship of Bill Belichick that he is following his career path to a T. Now, while the coach are going to have to go out and find someone else to be their coach, they're probably going to end up <laughs> ruining the day that they waited for Josh McDaniels. But there's something going on in Foxborough. There's something going on in Foxborough. Josh McDaniels would not have done this unless he was told by Bill Belichick that he is going to soon be coach of the Patriots. By soon, does it mean 2018 or does it mean 2019? It This tells me Bill Belichick is ready to leave. Now, he's older. He's 18 years in uh, Foxborough's a long time. Eight Super Bowls. Five won, three lost. And this doesn't include his, what he did as an assistant. But it could be that Bill Belichick's ready to... Go and have fun, whatever he does, fun, when he's, maybe he's going to go play golf, maybe he's going to go grumble at a beach house, maybe he's just going to take a year off and then come back with another team. But this tells me Bill Belichick's time in New England is nearing an end. Although, there's no other way, there's no other way McDaniels does this, unless he has been told that he is about to become coach of the Patriots within the next two years. I just don't see any other way about it. And it's just following the whole career path to Bill Belichick. I guess this is what they call deja vu all over again. NHL tonight. Oh, come on, Devils. What were you doing tonight? The Senators stink! And you lay that type of egg. <sighs> dreadful, dreadful. 5-3, Senators win. That's a type of loss you can't afford. <sighs> Ducks beat the Sabres in overtime, 4-3. Penguins ruined the homecoming for Marc-Andre Fleury with a 5-4 win. Over the Vegas Golden Knights. It was the Flyers 2-1 winners over the Hurricanes in overtime. The Capitals beat the Blue Jackets 3-2. The Bruins stay red hot, beating the Red Wings 3-2. The Panthers beat the Canucks 3-1. The Wild beat the Blues 6-2. The Flames down the Blackhawks 3-2. Chicago Blackhawks. The Jets beat the Coyotes 4-3, and the Avalanche buried the Sharks 3-1. They have won nine straight games at the Pepsi Center. In the NBA, it was the Rockets shooting down the Knicks. The uh, Raptors edging the uh, Celtics. Don't look now, but the Raptors are just one game back of having the best record in the East. Could it be the Raptors? Could we have an international NBA final? Hawks. 108-82 winners over the Grizzlies. 76ers beat the Wizards. 115-102. The Thunder struck down the Warriors today. 125-105. And the Lakers beat the Suns. 112-93. And meanwhile at Madison Square Garden...
It was the Bucks 103 to 89 over the Knicks. But the story is Christoph Porzingis out for the rest of the season. Torn ACL. Long, long time ago, the Garden used to rock each year as the Knicks were a true contender. But many, many bad seasons the Knicks have gone down the drain as the fans openly wept. And in the end, a season's down the drain. The unicorn is out the pasture. And the season's down the drain. Bye, bye, James Dolan cried. Ever since he brought the team, the team has no pride. And the Knicks are going down once again. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame. It's almost like the Knicks are absolutely cursed. And it's Dolan. It's Dolan. It's James Dolan is such a just dark cloud on that franchise that they can't have anything nice. They truly can't. And with the Magic also beating the uh, Cavaliers 116.98, pretty soon I think the Cavaliers are going to be wallowing with the Knicks. LeBron James, what a job you've done this year. Congratulations. Your ego has eclipsed the entire team. Bravo, LeBron. Bravo. Have fun in L.A. next year. Three stars tonight, Jonathan Simmons, who had a career-high 34 points, leading the Magic to a win over the uh, Cavaliers. Jonathan Bernier, who had 38 saves, one goal allowed against the Sharks, and a win for the Avalanche. And James Harden, who had 36 points, four rebounds, and five assists, and leading the Rockets over the Nets. Today's birthday shout-out goes to two-time NBA MVP Steve Nash, who turns 44. And we take a look back at the greatest individual performance, one game, NHL history. Daryl Sittler, who had 10 points, 6 goals, 4 assists, and leading the Maple Leafs over the Bruins in 1976. Check out the full story of Boston Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.